Well, I arrived pretty recently in Canada and I've had my first winter here, which was great, by the way. <laughs> and uh, well, I began to travel coast to coast, uh, from Vancouver to Gaspésie, by the way. And uh, most of the time it was a, a question about, well, there is a service, a science and technology service in the embassy, in the French embassy? Wow, what, what is it? <laughs> So, yeah, a good question because France is a well -known, uh, well-known country for good wine, good food, perfumes, um, Catherine Deneuve, Alain Delon, which is great. <laughs> but, uh, of course, science is less uh, well-known, so we are there to, to do that and to disseminate these information and about our laboratories, our big research centers like CNRS, 23,000 people are doing research in this big center, which is the first in Europe. It's just an example. Our universities, our grandes écoles. Well, that's it. That's our role. First of all, when you look at the ranking of uh, publication of Canada, Canadian research, the very first is in psychology, psychiatry and neuro, neuroscience, brain research. So which is uh, the evidence uh, and excellence, uh, field of excellence here in Canada. So French researchers really come here to visit and to work with the colleagues. So this is the first priority and we try to, to support that. There is already um, a nice agreement with Quebec, which was, by the way, signed by our, our Prime Minister, François Fillon, Two, two years ago on Alzheimer's disease. So this is the first point. The second point in this very large country, Canada is of course um, a land of natural resources, mineral resources, petrol, oil sand and so on. So this question is of course very interesting for scientists because of earth science, so this is also a very top-ranking field of, of uh, publication here. Very close to this domain, Arctic research, or how the climate is changing in Canada, is also uh, a second priority, or a first, I don't know. We have recently uh, settled in French uh, an observatory for Arctic research, and we uh, decided to create in uh, Laval, with the University of Laval, and through this, the network of Arctic Net, a new lab of, uh, to observe how the climate is changing in Arctic. Takuvik, this is the name, which means in Inuit, if I'm right, observe. Well, uh, the tools, we have a team here of a uh, dozen of people. In Vancouver, we have one attaché for science and technology in Toronto, one again in Montreal. There is a small team, four people with an attaché also in Ottawa, also here with an attaché for a university cooperation. So all these people, we meet regularly, we speak regularly on the phone, they visit the country, they visit the university, the research centers, and so we are there to, okay, to look at what projects are, um, are welcome in, in those centers, which French uh, colleagues are welcome also, and we just try to, to facilitate these contacts. We have a small budget, half a million dollars, let's say, for mobility, grants, fellowships for students, we push uh, for a double PhD students diploma with French and Canadian universities, for instance, mobility for the senior researchers to, well, that's it, more or less. Uh, so be very welcome on our website, web page, and please also visit our Facebook page, uh, since we have a new one, on which you can find the call for proposals, uh, everything, what's up in our French and Canadian uh, 
opportunities, you're always welcome here in this nice embassy, in this nice building, in our offices in uh, Wilbrod, in Ottawa, but also visit our colleagues in Vancouver, Toronto, Montreal, and okay, welcome in France too. Bye-bye.